looks fantastic. Um, so sticking with overpass on form, but she does look very hard to beat. Pace will be so important here. Just the pressure of the race and whether those back markers can get themselves into it. So and the tactics too, Bruce. Yeah. The tactics of the stable mates. Will it be like a Tour de France with the lead out with Malkovich with uh, overpass in his slipstream and then launching off the back of him? And it's big for Josh Parr because, you know, it, this horse has been so important for Josh. Of course, he won a Golden Eagle as well. I mean, he, he's had a big season, but he doesn't get big rides in Sydney every week when Group 1s are on, does he? No, and he does uh, He does not so much struggle with his weight, but his weight is um, part of the problem why he doesn't get the opportunity. So he has to really waste hard to ride at a particular weight. And horses like Overpass and Oban Buramai have really been able to sort of give him the option to pick and choose what he wants to ride. He's a great jockey and uh, he absolutely loved the race and loved the win last year and I'm sure, oh, well, I know he would love to do it again. And so what an incredible promotion it's been. I mean, Richo's been over there this week. Lizzie was there on this day last year with that incredible finish with Overpass holding off Amelia's Jewel and Bella Nipotina. Up she comes. Those three protagonists are all back for the second running of the Quokka. Five million dollars on the line here. All those slot holders. The build-up's been immense. We're about to see the unfolding. A bit of racing history again. The second running of the Quokka. Here's Darren McCauley. Just the Philly Super Smink to now move in. And they'll be right to go. The Kia Quokka, as Super Smink comes forward. Excitement building. Lights on. Ready. They're about to go at any tick of the clock. For five mil. Racing. Away quickly, Malkovich from the inside. Overpass began brilliantly, though. And the stable mates will be one too early on. Lane came out quickly with Amelia's duel, and he's going up on the outside to park alongside of on the rails Oscar's Fortune Bella Nipotina found herself a little wide then Saloon Bar back near the inside they were followed further back behind them to King of Sparta settling down then Petula back there Ripcord Super Smink Almighty Class Triple Missile followed further back then by Wild Bill and the Kiwi last of all Tack as they come to the 500 in the Quokka Malkovich being allowed to run by McGruddy a length and a half over pass Amelia's Jules only a length away from him coming to the turn over on the inside, then the three-year-old Oscars Fortune. Wider out, Bella Nipotina, their homeward bound. Malkovich leads the way from overpass. Amelia's duel, Bella Nipotina. Oscars Fortune getting right up against the inside for Pike. He's coming quickly, Oscars Fortune. It's overpass in front, though, from Oscars Fortune. Amelia's duel, overpass. Too good for them again. And they ram home another one in the quokka. It's overpass from Amelia's duel. Saloon bar, Oscars Fortune near the rail. And close up came Petula. In behind them next of all, Whitehack from the back of the field, a monster run. Then King of Sparta, triple missile, followed by Ripcord. Then Almighty Class, Malkovich got very tired. Super Smink well back in the field, Wild Bill. And pulling up quickly with those, Bella Nipotina. What an incredible race again. Very much like last year. The first and second, the same as last year. Look at Josh there yelling and screaming mouth dry 7.7 million bucks this horse has now won he's won two quokkas and a winter bottom over in the wild west it is going to be on for young and old lizzie with the slot holders in beyond tonight oh won't it just just a replica of last year but a completely different way it was run we saw melkovich up on speed really rattling along overpass getting this beautiful run and amelia's duel that was the biggest shot to see her so far forward in the run but it will be it's very deserving for Josh Parr to get the victory you can see how much it meant to him crossing the line and well it's going to be wild in the west like it always is and Derby Racing uh, have done a remarkable job they Scott Derby just finds the right horses if you're seeing a lot of hats they are the slot holders they're called Ram Racing they've got a slot in all of the Western Trilogy races uh, they have a lot of fun with it and they're very rich tonight and Richo Emily's amongst them now Congratulations, you just won the Quokka. What does it mean to you? Oh, mate, me mates put a lot of work in uh, to the Ram Racing syndication and, um, yeah, I'm just so happy for him. And, um, geez, 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 he's a tough horse and 
Um, yeah, we thought we thought we'd get the right run, and we did. And um, yeah, just he doesn't give up, but he's so tough. Yeah, so we're we're stoked. What are the plans for tonight? Oh, just celebrate all night yeah, tomorrow. We've, we've got we've got a few things planned. Don't worry. Oh, well, enjoy we'll, it. I'll come we'll, find we'll, you. We were confident. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thank you. <laughs>